Hello and welcome everybody, King Dems here, your usual host. Uh, and today we're going to take a little look at FaZe Clan versus Team Vitality. This was the group final from the Blast Spring of group, what was it, C? Was it group C, the group they're in? Yeah, something like that. Um, and basically, I'm going to try and have a look at this demo from both sides. Um, I'm going to try and basically get a feel for like how both of these teams are playing. Oh, by the way, this, I'm not going to go through like a whole demo review of this one. Um, I'm basically just going to focus on the important rounds. Um, I'll basically chop this down into a video that's a lot shorter than the demo reviews. Card, to be honest, they're a bit long and the YouTube algorithm doesn't really like them. So expect this one to be shorter. And I'll try and cut this down, condense it into, like, a handful of important rounds, basically. Right, so, um... We're gonna start with the opening round, because FaZe basically were dead and buried in this round, and Vitality somehow brought it back. Um, so we have, like, definitely an issue here. It's unfortunate, not much rain can do. He's looking for it, gets picked off. And then Zewu picks up another in the form of break. Yeah, there's not really much that could be done there. Um, you know, Ziwu and Masuta just do their job and rip heads off. Um, but how does this round become then doable for, for FaZe? Right, so blah, 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 speed through, speed through, speed through. Ziwu picks up another one in Carrigan. Okay, on the backstab, Twists picks up Magus and Dupree. Okay, okay, so stop here for a second. Let's take stock. This is a 3v2. Vitality have full control of the bomb site. Rops and twists are kind of coming from the same angle. So this is definitely not an easy one to do. This should still be... Okay, so this fight is kind of important. Um... Oh, wow. Okay, twists gets another. Okay, so it gets put down into a 2v1. And where's Rops going to come from? Is Rops still going to come up through connector? Yeah, Rops is still coming up connector. So we'll have a look at this from Rops' point of view. How does this happen? They even had time to go to B here. But I guess they didn't know where Rops was. So it's totally fine for Vitality not to go to B. There's no no need for them to do that. That's a really clean shot from Rops. Okay, so we've seen that. Ziwoo, free shot there. Oh, the jump was interesting. Ah, uh, okay, so just two really, really clean one taps and rops on the retake. Okay. Um, Vitality probably lost too much to twist on the backstab, but, you know, there's only so much you can do when, when rops is going ham. Okay, so literally the very next round um, ends up being a problem. So, um, yeah, we'll speed through this one. Um, basically, obviously, Vitality are on the force. They got the bomb down. It's a pretty decent buy. Um, and they go for a fairly standard default. Magus is going to hold towards B. Dupree is going to sit in connector and then three towards A. Let's just, like, have a look at this as it, as it plays out normally. Like, Rain is coming up all on his lonesome here. Like, this is a very, I think, low expected value play from Rain. Like, he's kind of doing this all on his own and... Yeah, like I say, he's got no support here. They've got no information, and he's just going to get his head ripped off. He's hearing a lot and giving a lot of information to his team. Okay. So, yeah, he, he, he gets his head ripped off there. However, if we have a look, his team, if we actually look at Twist, his team has actually managed to rotate three up to A. So this is possibly not the end of the world. And if we look here, we've got Carrigan on the backstab, okay? So Magus is going to watch for this. Carrigan is probably going to have to go through Con. Yep, okay. And then Z will up here. Excellent entry on Brokey. Good entry on Bob. So what was it that Twist... Why was Twist not there to help? Why was Twist not there to help? So here, why, why does he leave now? So he goes to Bank. And in the timing of him moving to Bank, he's not there to help the hit. Yeah, okay, so... I think you can be marginally critical of twists potentially there, um, but I don't think hugely so. Um, yeah, he probably should have just gone straight to bank. But basically, it shows you how the minutest of timings can be an issue in CSGO. Him coming up to dumpster, then changing his mind and saying, I need to go hold from bank. In the time he's rotating to bank is in is the time that Vitality hit the site. And so just a minutia there on the timing that, that kind of ruins FaZe's um, round. 
But I've got to be honest, I don't like the play that the Rain went for. He um, sat the ground there, in my opinion. It's not the end of the world because, like I say, there is still potential in that round for uh, for FaZe to get something done because they're able to rotate three to the A site. But FaZe going down for nothing combined with the fact that then Twists kind of got stuck in no man's land on that rotation, it, it leads to a lost round for Vitali uh, for FaZe there. Right, so now we're into um, FaZe's first gun round. Um, obviously off the back of that uh, second round four, so they lose. And this one is just Rops going nuts. Like, that, that is just, you know, whatever. Fair enough. He's got the pre-fire. Um, great awareness, however. And then here, he sees Apex briefly. Yeah, that's just nuts from Rops. He gets two kills basically for free. Um, really, really great game sense, and that basically turns the first gun round uh, in FaZe's favor. Right, so another day, another gun round. Um, as we can see from the minimap, um, Vitality are already set up in a very, very heavy B lean. And early on in the round, um, you're actually going to see Megas help bar go down. That's again Rops from that same position, harassing. Um, three hit for FaZe Clan, so this isn't the easiest hit from Vitality. But Magus does get a very good entry on Carrigan. Now, this is all on twist this hold from here on out, right? If I showed you this position, right? Where if we look at the map, we got obviously twists and rops both ready on the B site. But Vitality have basically already four made it out onto the site. Magus is on short, ready to trade out. This looks like it's going to get traded down into like a three on two, two on three in favor of kind of team Vitality. And they're going to get the bomb down. Um, but let's just see what... Uh, what twist does here in this position so really really good manages to get the first he just takes look gets the second another good shot and it's just really difficult to get rid of he takes some aggro so that rocks can then peek out and now this is just yeah impossible for vitality so really really excellent place and twist throughout that hold so the important things there were obviously swinging out and getting that first kill. You've got to be brave and you've got to take a fight. And you've got to at least get a one for one as they're coming onto the site. But the fact that he then slides back in there, manages to pop out and get another headshot, put the smoke down and just basically be a massive thorn in Vitality's side on that hit so that then Rops now can come out and get a frag because the heat has been taken off him. Just really, really great play from uh, from Twists on that hit. Like, like super, super good stuff. Right, so we're back at it with another gun round. Vitality obviously got a pretty big lead early on. Dupree just gets the um, headshot here, but basically Vitality, because of their economic lead, could kind of just force a lot of buys. So FaZe actually had a hard time on this CT side um, getting into the game just because of the way um, that the economy went early on. So Dupree gets that early headshot through that wall. Um, you're just going to see that round battle go back and forth against teams, and, um, you know, it's important to get the better of it. So two good entries from Vegas and uh, Dupree here, but this is really, really good from Rops. Tight in that corner, not a lot that Vegas can do there, just wasn't aware that Rops could be in that position. That's just some really nice positioning from Rops um, to get nice and aggressive and, and use that space. Uh, and then the rest of this round is kind of just a, a masterclass from Rops, as we can see. Um, on the minimap, Vitality are going to start to group towards this B site. As you can see here, they're all getting ready to group up near Monster with Apex. And once this smoke phase, they're going to go for it. Good peek from Rops to get the info. He puts his smoke down and goes for another flash. Now, that's really, really important. A lot of players would just kind of swing out and try and take that jewel there. But Rops is putting himself into a position where everything is in his favor. He's put the smoke down so Vitality has to come through it. And he's flashing off the back of it. Now, again, there's some really, really good play from Rops there. So doesn't just spray wildly. Make sure he gets the first kill. Puts a few bullets into the next two guys. But look, he stops when there's still six bullets left in his gun. And he's trying to be conservative and sensible. Look, there you go. One tap. Doesn't keep spraying. More people would have sprayed. But look, the way that he played that meant he had bullets in the magazine so that he could go and get that kill on Zewu on short. Really restrained stuff from Rops. Not just going for some wild spray down, but just being very sensible with the way he's using the resources available because bullets in the magazine is a resource available to you and you will lose rounds if you if you just spray wildly Zewu would have come on short he would have been reloading really really nice play from rops very measured very very cerebral he's building a picture in his head and i talk about this all the time but it's so so important He's built a picture in his head. Yes, there's probably a couple of guys behind the smoke. Where are they? He's not sure. One is probably going to be coming up short B, so he needs to have resources available to deal with that. Really, really intelligent stuff from Rops, uh, and basically wins this round. Um, so we're back for another gun round. Obviously, Vitality have been able to bought, and this is just another uh, kind of Rops masterclass this round. 
Um, he's pushed up up long, and it seems like Rops kind of gets to pick and choose what he does on the CT side. I don't know if this is Carrigan moving him around or if this is Rops himself. He just shoots here in the side of the head and gets away. Nice, easy free kill. Rain is there, so he flashes to support his mate. Um, but yeah, it's a good double setup there. And now Rops, um, again, good picture in his mind of what's going on. He knows something. Looks away for a second, but turns back, and that's basically the round done. Um, and what seems to be kind of... Um, building up on this CT side is that Rops is all over the place. He's on B, he's on A. I wonder if that's Carrigan moving Rops around so that Vitality can't go, okay, well, let's not go where Rops is. Or if that's Rops saying, I feel like doing this, I feel like doing that. But either way, it definitely feels like they are utilizing Rops as a bit of a luxury piece in their CT setups um, and moving him around to kind of try and get him as involved as they possibly can. So um, good stuff so far from Clan on this CT side. Really have kind of dominated, I think, Vitality. Haven't got too much done. Magus and Dupree have been kind of successful a couple of times on the entries, but in general, it's been awesome face clan so far right so we're getting to kind of crunch time in the half now vitality need to start putting some rounds on the board or this is going to get a little bit rough for them um and obviously as it has been throughout this half magus is going to be the guy who's going to give them a chance in the rounds um always defaulting towards his speed always really really nice little jiggle to see carrigan then slides out and takes the kill away from him um unfortunately a little bit later he will get traded out uh, if we just let this go a little bit further. Now this, I don't think he needs to do this, Magus. Uh, he's done his job towards B. I think he can hold a bit more of a passive default here. I don't think he needs to kind of go looking. Obviously, Twist is in a weird off angle in jail, but I don't know. You can't criticize Magus too heavily, but I do think thinking... It's gone into a 5v4. Your team are taking space towards A. All you need to do is the guy holding B is not die. And, you know, he commits the sin and he dies. Um, now, the rest of this round is uh, on Rops' back. So we'll just watch, watch it from Rops' perspective. As you can see, um, Vitality are grouping up with three towards long and one in connector. The A hit is coming. Good utility to delay them. And now it's getting a little bit rough for Vitality because they're not got a super long on the clock. And we'll just see how Rops does it. Just waits, 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 waits until the last second. And then there you go. Once aggro has been taken, that's when Rops springs out and gets his work done. Just good shooting from Rops. Uh, and he doesn't need to do too much here. So he focuses on staying alive until his buddy Twist gets with him. And that's round. Donzo! Another one from Rops. Um, but Magus definitely could have had a more positive impact on that round for Vitality. He got the entry, which was perfect. And then he kind of sacked his life in an unnecessary way. I don't think he needed to do that. So Now, Vitality have actually found uh, a gap in the defense here. There's two players out towards long. Magus gets one in the back, which is very important. Isn't expecting the second. Um, but the problem is, is, they, is Vitality just found the gap in the defense there. Um, with the double long setup and one playing back a dumpster, um, Vitality basically caught the perfect timing walking through bathrooms, so not an awful lot the FaZe Clan can do there. They just basically, their setup just got perfectly exposed. Um, maybe they should have played for a little bit more info at the start of the round before maybe switching into that cell where they had two at long and one kind of holding really passive dumpster, but the two long guys are supposed to turn around. They should have maybe been more aware that Magus was coming on the backstab, but it's kind like of a tough position once they get into it. There's not really that much that FaZe can do. Now, I really like the uh, kind of switch up in, in approach from FaZe on this final round of the half. Um, they basically go and fight for a very aggressively in the middle portion of the map, which they haven't really done in general throughout the half. Um, uh, as you can see, Carrigan obviously uh, pushed pretty aggressively. Brokey is pretty aggressively fighting for bathrooms. Rain was obviously in connector aggressively fighting. And it was just a nice switch up from phase where they've generally kind of given up control of that middle portion of the map to Vitality for most of the half, really. Um, they never did this all out, balls out. We're going to push into water. We're going to push into connector. We're going to be uptight in bathrooms and we're going to really fight them for the map control. Um, but as you can see here, obviously the switch up um, you know, voted really well. Rain flashing himself like a moron, but that's fine. Uh, and he gets out of dodge uh, and then Brokey uh, and Brokey is going to finish off the round.
Um, so this is a, a little funky um, from Faceland here. I think they get a lot of control, and this is obviously the second round falls from Vitality. Um, the fact that I'm including it in the video obviously tells you that Vitality win this second round force up. Um, and I think it's not a bad approach initially. Um, Carrigan uses his Mac Daddy to clear out a bit of space in Connector, and they feels like they've kind of got everything sorted here. Um, it feels like they shouldn't really be losing this round. They've got all the control. Um, I would have liked maybe to see like two or three of them go up long and use those those long aggressive angles a little bit more. The rifles. I feel like what happens here is they kind of get exactly they get kind of stuck in short, they the tight kind of control. They get naded. And yeah, I think they get read a little bit easily by Vitality. Um, they are just kind of bunched up um, in that middle area of the map in bathrooms, um, up banana. They're just kind of bunched there in Vitality. They very quickly figure out exactly where Vitality are, uh, where FaZe, sorry, are. So yeah, I think I would have liked to see FaZe maybe utilize long a little bit better. Um, get two or three of those rifles up long and use those long range duels to your advantage. But also, I think they dawdled a little bit too long in that area of the map. Um, and Vitality were able to kind of figure out and echolocate exactly where they were. And just, yeah, crush them. Now, a good old fashioned Glock Eco from FaZe Clan. Glocks! Yeah. Yeah, they are going to win this Glock Eco, um, and I, I need to look a little bit more carefully as to exactly what goes down here. Um, so, what is... Okay, let's just pause this for a second. So, who's sat in the smoke? So, Rain is sat in a smoking connector. They're barreling through a smoke in middle. Wait, why is everybody in a smoke? This can't be right. No, it's not right. It's just... Okay, so mid is fine. So they get up close on Zewu and Dupree, I guess. That's... Yeah, Dupree really better there. And Zewu only goes one for one. Okay, so Zewu and Dupree should probably do a little bit better there um, with the rifles. They are actually in a double setup. They're perfectly kind of set up to help each other. They probably shouldn't let the pistols get that close. Um... I think that probably is a mistake on their part. I think they maybe need to play a little bit more aggressively in middle, particularly the fact that they're in an aggressive setup like that and they let the pistols get up so close to them. I kind of wonder exactly why or what was going on in their head or if, again, it was just kind of, like, bad timing. Oh, and then oh, mind Apex. Yeah, that's tough for Apex. Not much he can do there because obviously he is looking to deal with what's just gone on in middle. Um, he's looking to try and get up there and get some trades. Um, yeah, there's just really unfortunate that Apex Apex wasn't expecting that lurk from Rain behind him in connector. Um, smart play by FaZe to have kind of four go up middle there in the majority of the attack and then have that one guy kind of wrap through connector to grab any stragglers. Um, it's also if the pistols kind of come up at you fr through middle like that, it's, it's reasonable to think that the the CTs are going to fall back potentially through connector. So even if you don't get any kills there, you're going to get a lot of map control. But this is still hard work. So make sure Kerrigan. Rops does really, really well to get that trade frag. And then how does Masuda lose this? So I think Vitality don't hit enough of their shots here. There's just no other way to put it. They, they should do better um, just in the mechanical sense. Really nice. And then Rops, yeah, Rops just absolutely out positions Masuta there. Yeah, Masuta's got a really horrible duel there because Rops has a headshot angle. I think Masuta needs to not take that fight, if I'm honest. I understand why he does because he knows where Rops is and blah, blah, blah. But Rops has got a plant on B. You've got the HP advantage. Just go for a retake, man. FaZe are going to go for the B here. And honestly, this is just FaZe being really super effective on the entries here. Um, we're going to see Rops and Twists kind of get ready to go through this smoke. They get hit by a big nade here, but they go anyway. And, uh, yeah. So they get wrecked, but then Rain is very effective on short entries. Um, and this is just really, really powerful entry work from FaZe. Um, Vitality were actually set up perfectly to kind of deal with um, what FaZe was going for. Um, and I think this is kind of the tale of the map so far, is that FaZe have just been a little bit sharper on individual duels. Um, and that is really what's costing Vitality, because they're not making 
they're usually not making huge like tactical or strategical blunders. It's generally coming down to just mechanics and they're not getting enough frags. Apex on four, Masuta on seven. Like, mm, I know that Rain's on eight and Carrigan is on seven, but like, FaZe have just been far more effective in the duels when it has really mattered. Um, apart from a couple of influential kind of entries from Magus and a couple of influential entries from Dupree, I think FaZe have been really, really good at getting those opening duels and also winning the really important duels. And oh, I remember this round. I'm just going to sit back and uh, I'm going to let Rain Steagle do the talking. And unfortunately, that's the microcosm of the game. Phase just won more duels, just hit more shots. We're just mechanically better. And uh, we'll let we'll let Rain have his. We'll let Rain have the last moment of this clip. Get ready for it. Here it comes. What it, what do what do when Rain just runs out with the deagle on B and hits four headshots? What are you supposed to do? Obviously, that's the game there. Um, so, as I said, the kind of summary of the game really is um, the main thing it came down to genuinely was FaZe winning more duels. I th also think FaZe looked a little bit more dynamic on their CT side. They had more different looks to them, whereas Vitality, I think, kind of set up in the same kind of way pretty much every round. And I think FaZe were able to find the gaps in that. Um, or if not find the gaps per se, at least find the weak points where their kind of entry power would be most effective. Um, I think Magus and Dupree looked good at times on the T side for Vitality, but their T side definitely didn't look potent enough. This CT side might have been enough to get something done, especially with the way they were kind of moving Zero around and using him towards the end of the half. But when you've been kind of 9 6 in the first half um, because your T side was only able to get six rounds, I think you need to get kind of seven, eight rounds on the T side of the overpass. Um, and yeah, FaZe just looking really, really hot. I think that's the main thing to take away is that FaZe definitely looked like they were... They were definitely more up to scratch. They were looking closer to their 100% than I think Vitality were. I think this will definitely be closer in the future. Obviously, Vitality won um, against FaZe in this bracket. So I think you can't read too much into it. It's obviously the first portion of the first event, big event of the year. Um but definitely promising signs from FaZe Clan. Rops looks good. They look like they got a good balance. Their CT side was looking mwah, and the T side was looking very potent in terms of entries. Vitality, I think they'll get there. I think they'll look better. The thing I do worry about with Vitality is how are they going to hang with these really high firepower squads like your Navis and your G2s and your phases? Are Vitality just going to get blown off the server by these guys? I think it is genuinely a risk. Dupree is not the fragger that he used to be. The only real big fragging player you've got that you can guarantee numbers from from Vitality is Zewu. And then Magisk, maybe Apex can have his games, but he's not looked too hot so far. So I'm not as convinced with this Vitality roster as everybody else is. I think they'll be good. I think they've got probably top five in them. I don't think they're going to be a regular tournament winner because I just don't think they've got the mechanical skill to hang with everybody else. Zewu, unfortunately, in this day and age, is not enough. S Navi have Simple and they have Bit and they have Electronic. FaZe have Rops and they have Twists and they have Rain and they have Brokey. It's just not enough to have a single player anymore. That's my opinion. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Little bit different. Um, let me know what you think because... I'm trying to find like a a place where I'm trying to find like a, a good median between obviously you've got the kind of high level stuff, which is just kind of like the tournament recaps where I just talk about teams in very broad strokes, um, mainly focusing on narratives and storylines more so than analysis. Uh, and then obviously you've got the nitty gritty, which is like demo reviews and um, bite sized breakdowns where I really go in depth on the, the, the mech, the, mechanisms of counter-strike like i really really try and pick apart the rounds um, i'm hoping this can kind of fill like a middle gap tell me what you think um in the comments and you know the drill like favorite favorite comment subscribe i'm talking in old youtube terms uh and if you don't like it bleh, 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 bleh.